really want to get it to 37, you can already. 37 says type it into the computer. Again, it's relatively easy to get Excel to do linear regression. You don't need PHStat for that. You go right, just, you know, just highlight the two columns, you press the, the regression button, and you get the answer pretty much. Uh, but uh, so you want to do it on the computer, you can. But um, right now, I want you to really focus on the hand calculation. So yeah, I want you to pick from the from the random number table, or if you want to have Excel do it for you, of course, all this could be done in Excel. You don't have to physically you know, get the random numbers. But either way, random number table, you pick an X and a Y. Now, which is X and which is Y? It's, it's random, so it doesn't make a difference. You pick for, don't, don't copy my numbers, of course. I mean, you got to pick truly random, because when I make them up, they're not random. You got to really, 3 and 7, 0 and 6, 2 and 1, 4 and 5, 9 and 9, OK? So these are the five pairs of numbers. You'll be doing also five pairs of numbers. Uh, kind of what to say? You generate five pairs of numbers. Okay, make make a scattergram. So step number two is to basically you know you can make one zero zero is here one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five to nine. So three on the x one on, you know the first dot is here another dot is here another dot is here another dot is one dot is here. Okay, so you have, you have your five dots. Again, I'm not making it accurate, but basically, you, so the next thing is to plot them. The third thing, and this is going to turn out to be especially challenging for random numbers, is you try to figure out the straight line that best fits the data. So in this case, I don't know myself. Is it going to be a line like this? Is it going to be a line like this? Do the best you can. It turns out it is almost impossible to do it with random numbers, especially there's only five of them. But do the best you can. Give it your best guess. And then once you get, let's say, we decide this is the best, this is the best line. So figure out like maybe the intercept is equal to 0.3. I don't know, something. And what is the slope? Maybe it's a slope of 45 degrees. Maybe it's one. The point is figure out the slope and figure out the intercept. Write it down. And that's what I want you to do for that part of it. Then I want you to the